right, so what's going on guys? And today we're gonna be reviewing a mechanical keyboard. All right, so this is the keyboard right here. It is from IQU NIX. It is the L80 series. By the way, I don't know exactly if, if there's a way to say IQU NIX. I'm not gonna look stupid and just pronounce it wrong, so I'm just gonna say the letters, but it is what it is. I do wanna say this, I'm actually editing the video. I'm pretty sure I know how to say it now. It's IQNIX. I just wanted to clarify that I do know, I think, how to say it. I'm still not positive. I'm just kind of guessing. But, yeah. Back to the video. So, here it is. This is actually the L80 series from them. It is a hot swappable board. That's why I'm kind of looking at it, because I'm really excited about it. It actually took seven days to ship. It's like three to seven. And if you know anything about keyboards, and you try to buy anything, it will take literal months to get anything. There are four different types of uh, colorways to go with. And this one is the formula. This keyboard is actually the non-backlit version, but there is an RGB, RGB version. There's a little bit of a price difference. The non-backlit version goes for $265, and the RGB version goes for $285. The switches offered with this keyboard are Cherry and Gatoron. I went with the Cherry Reds just because it is hot swappable, so I'm not going to keep these in here because I am going to lube my own switches and do all. Do the whole nine yards for this one. Now when it comes to the actual feel and unboxing this thing, it feels so good. It actually comes with a USB Type-C cable, comes with a keycap puller and switch puller, comes with a USB receiver, so that's one of the ways you can connect it, and a little brush that's I've never seen come with keyboard. Maybe I just, I've never seen it, but it looks pretty cool. The actual feel of the keyboard straight out the box feels really nice. It is a ABS plastic all the way around, and it's not that cheap plastic. It does. It's not like it feels cheap. It's a, it's a good weight to it. The weight is actually 1.5 kilograms um, in pounds. That's a, around three pounds. So it feels really sturdy. This is an 80% keyboard. It has 83 keys. 10% smaller than 87 or the normal 87% keyboards or mechanical keyboards. So that's always good if you are looking for more space. The keyboard itself is just aesthetically pleasing. You can pick whatever colorway. There's only, like I said, there's four, but just the aesthetic of the actual raised um, F keys in the escape row, it just it just looks good on the desk. Like I've already mentioned, it is hot swappable, so that's always good if you're looking for a little bit more customization. This board has it. So there's actually three ways of connecting this thing to your PC or whatever else you're going to be connecting it to. There's the USB Type C connection that. The cord, like I've already said, is braided, looks really nice, really good quality cord. It is a 2.4 gigahertz receiver or USB receiver, and it is also Bluetooth. The 80 series mechanical keyboards have been optimized for Mac users. So how you switch it from Mac to Windows is actually you hold FN, which is the function key, plus tab for five seconds, and you can switch in between the systems. So the battery life of this thing is actually kind of impressive. So it claims to have a 4,000 milliamps battery life, it can run up to 200 days on Bluetooth and 60 days on the 2.4 connection. Now, with with their little parameters they have, it's actually the backlit has to be off and on use of five hours a day. Now that is kind of crazy just hearing those numbers. You don't have to recharge it if you never have the RGB on and it's and you use it for about five hours a day. You can use it on Bluetooth for 200 days. I'm not I'm not going to test that. That's too long for me. That's crazy. So it has something called in-key rollover design, preventing both key ghosting and key jamming. Now, I don't know what that is. I'm just kind of, I'm reading it off the thing just so you do, if you did want that, you have it with this keyboard. The keycaps that come with it, and they do feel really nice, it is PBT keycaps. They, uh, they have a little bit of a texture on them, so they feel really nice on the fingertips. You also know that these keycaps are going to last you a long time. And because they are PBT, you don't have to worry about, like with ABS, you have to worry about oils and sweat and stuff like that. These aren't going to have that problem. So it does have the feet on the back. It has the little one and the big boy. Or if you're just like me, you can just put it on the ground or lay it flat, and that's perfectly fine. The operating systems, which I think is also a big plus to this keyboard. It works with Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and Linux. The lifespan of the switches that actually come with it has what they claim is 50 million keystrokes. And that sounds pretty good in my book. Once again, this thing is not sponsored. I'm just, I was, I found out about them and I'm a pretty big fan now having it, now actually having it here with me. Now the switches do not come lubed, which it is what it is. You can do it. I would rather prefer to do it myself, but the stabilizers do come lubed. So instead of like using cherry stabilizers, 
or screw-ins or whatever stabilizers you can get. The stabilizers are actually CoStar and they are lubed from factory. And they don't sound too bad. I do have a sound test at the end of this, so I mean, in, in my personal preference, CoStar is not my favorite, but with the lube they actually provided, it actually sounds pretty good, so I'm not going to complain. So how you access everything is through the function key. How you control the RGB and the LED, even though this one is not that one, what you do is hold function, delete to turn it off or on, page up for brightness plus, page down for brightness minus, home for backlight effect, and switching through them for backlight color switching, and the arrows up and down for plus and minus speed. To switch between Mac and Windows, you hold down the function key plus tab for 5 seconds. To actually go into wireless mode, what you do is hold down function and 1 to go into Bluetooth, and you hold down function and 4 to enter the 2.4 GHz version. You can also hit uh, function and B to show you the actual battery lifespan, which stands for 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, all the way down to 100%, which is 10 in the actual manual itself, it tells you everything on how to do this stuff. Super easy and laid out for you. So thanks IQUNIX. I wish I had a better, faster way to say that, but thank you guys for actually making it simple. So what are my final thoughts about this keyboard? In all reality, I love this thing. This, the capability and the actual options of customization you have is great. Besides the stabilizers, which I wish weren't that, and there might be a way to change it, I haven't really looked into that yet, but the stabilizers that come with, even though they are lewd, they're not my favorite. But if that's the only downside, this is almost a 10. <laughs> Alright, so that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Hopefully you now have a new keyboard you can go buy. Because once again, I love that thing. But that is the end of the video. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. I will be lubing my own switches and putting them in here for a sound test. So stick around for that. And go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications. But yeah, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.